it was a, it was a brief moment of vulnerability, and I was like, you know what? Where can I find other vulnerable souls? And the one app that automatically popped inside of my brain was Tinder. <laughs> It's extremely toxic, the fact that I turned to Tinder immediately afterwards, but I digress. I, I did what I did in my moment of vulnerability. So, I go on Tinder, I pretty much, I make my profile as snazzy as it can possibly be. And, you know, because I'm a dude, and I'm ugly, I didn't get any matches, right? I, I don't get any <laughs> matches, like, my match rate, my match to swipe rate is terrible, like... I swipe, uh, I swipe on, a, it was a couple, it's a couple of Jones on Twitter, like, they're mostly catfish, but, you know, you gotta have hope sometimes, so, on the, the pictures that I did swipe right on, one in particular came back, and it really piqued my interest, I was kinda like, it was a shot in the dark, honestly, because, you have this feature on Tinder where you get a star like every 24 hours or every couple hours or whatever. And it's supposed to be like a super ping to let that person know that they really like you. You know, it's, it's, it distinguishes itself from like the regular like the regular heart by being a star. It's a blue star instead of a red heart. So this particular individual I, 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 will, I like to be very sparing with my star. So if I really see that you're really a snack or if your your little catfish picture really piques my fancy, I'm going to give you that star, right? So this particular individual, I gave her my star. I didn't expect too much of it, but turns out I get the little match notification on my phone and it's the hot chick that I literally saved up my star to give to, right? Because, like, <clears throat> that's another thing you can do. You can keep your thing on one person until your star gets regenerated. So that's what I did. Like, I waited for this. I waited for my star to get regenerated so I can give to this person. That's how crazy it was. That's just to add another, like, layer of, like, <laughs> complexity to the entire thing. I waited to give this person my star. It just, it makes it even more toxic, right? So I, I waited for however long I needed to wait to give this person my star. I give them my star, I get the magic back. So damn, I don't even have Tinder on my phone to, to, to show you the messages or whatever. And I don't even think they would be on there anyway. So she, she hits me back. I hit her, I'm like, yo, like it gotta be God or something. Cause I really fucking, I really just waited to give you this blue star. And you decided to fuck with me. And I don't even, people don't even fuck with me on this app. Like, what are the odds, right? You have to be a catfish. But I wanted to entertain it anyway, right? Because, again, the picture was very alluring. So, that's so toxic now. Like, that's what dating is. I'm just looking at a picture. And whatever you decide to write as your little, like, your little clickbait caption. Like, is that what dating is? Wow, gross. But, okay, I digress. So we're chit chatting and like, I'm so like, again, I'm so flabbergasted that this, that this online entity actually swiped right on me. So we're talking and uh, a couple laughing emojis get exchanged and I ended up getting her actual number or whatever. I'm like, yo, we can, uh, we can FaceTime or whatever. Like, I'm not a weirdo. Oh, Apparently, you shit. like what you see, right? Oh, shit. Right, right, right. Okay, you're following, right? So, this is probably the part where I'm going to hit dot, dot, dot to be continued. But I'm just going to keep talking for the, the continuality so we can just make this part two. So, <laughs> uh, so...